In this video, we will be explaining in detail the versatility and use of the user-defined valve feature in the MECQ piping module. We will also introduce user-defined block substitutions for plotting and rendering, as well as the added benefits of enhanced data extraction. Here you can see we have three flange valves. The valve labeled number one was installed using the standard valve dialog box. The valve length and handle height were adjusted before the valve was inserted. The valve labeled number two was installed using the user-defined valve dialog box. The dimensions for this valve were added automatically from the database file. The valve labeled number three was a custom-built block made using the basic solids modeling tools found in most CAD engines and MECQ's mechanical detailing tools. This valve was marked as an object using the object option in the MECQ piping dialog box. Other than cosmetics, what's the difference? Let's start by looking at the title block. Here you can see the standard MECQ valve is listed as item number one and has a pertinent information listed. The nominal diameter, the valve type and connection, the rating and the material. Adequate, but not ideal. The valve listed as item number two was installed using the MECQ user-defined valve dialog box. You can see the description is much more complete. It lists the nominal diameter along with the part number in the description field, as well as the rating and material. Compare that with item number three. This valve is a user-defined block that was tagged using the object option. While it does use the part number, it lacks the nominal diameter, rating, and material. This missing information would have to be added manually to the title block and would not be available for data extraction. With this comparison in mind, let's see how easy it is to make a user-defined valve. We'll start by opening the main piping dialog box and select the valve icon. Now we can set the size of the new user valve to 4 inches in the NB field, and we'll set the valve class to 150 using the drop-down menu. We'll use the View Draw button to open the valve dialog box. The first thing we want to do is select the type of valve our new valve should look like. In this case, we'll use the gate valve. We'll be sure the no flanges check box is unselected and the raise face and draw handle boxes are both checked. Next we'll select user defined from the drop down menu. Then we'll click on the new button. The new valve is made by Stockham and we'll use the abbreviation of STK along with the figure number from their catalog. This entry will be visible in the user defined valve drop down menu. Keep the name short because the size of the drop down is limited. The starting pipe size was set to 4 inches on the piping main dialog box and therefore will be grayed out and is not editable. Additionally, this valve will only be available for use when 4 inches has been selected in the NB field of the main piping dialog box. The designation field is what will appear in the description column of the bill of materials. In this case, we'll type Stockham Fig period G-623. We'll leave the flange OD and thickness alone since they are standard for a 4 inch class 150 valve. The face to face dimension is 9 inches so we'll leave that one alone. The handle is 21.44 inches high and we'll enter that in the box. Finally we'll save the design. Let's install the new valve and take a look at the bill of materials. Not only is this a much more useful description of the valve, but the valve itself is now accessible to us in any future MECQ drawing without any additional data entry. If you're exporting your bill of materials to a database or spreadsheet application for inventory or cost control, I think you'll find the information added to the valve is very valuable. Finally, let's consider how to manage the highly detailed valve block. Generally, this type of valve is used for final plots of drawings or renderings where the look of the valve is more important than the data. However, with a little layer management, we can have both. By default, MECQ will place the valve on the same layer as the pipe. Using the Layers button on the main piping dialog box, we can change the layer that the fittings and valves are placed on. We'll call this new layer Fitting. Now all we need to do is create two new layers. We'll call one layer SD valve and the other HD valve. After the tagging and detailing are complete, 
we simply move the MECQ valve to the SD valve layer and a highly detailed valve to the HD valve layer. Now, using the Layered State Manager, we simply toggle between the standard valves and the highly detailed valve. If you have a large number of custom valve blocks in your drawing, you may want to freeze the HD valve layer for all operations except plotting and rendering. This will keep all the details of your valves from slowing down your computer. If you need a piping software that allows quick prototyping of a piping system, data exporting, and highly detailed piping and mechanical entities, MECQ has all of the tools you need. Whether you're using MECQ piping for prototype piping systems, detailed shop drawings, or highly detailed renderings, MECQ Custom Valves has an option to fit your needs.